What's up, guys? We're out originally here. Today is Takeout Tuesday. Mm. I'm Phil. We have a special co-host today. Yeah. Do, do me a favor. Do not adjust the cameras. I know that I'm <laughs> as beautiful as Mimi. Maybe a little more. Well, but it ain't me. It ain't me. You have lovely eyes. Thank you so much. I have a great personality, <laughs> they say. <laughs> today we have Lupe as co-host. Hey, everybody, who's yesterday? Mr. Eric. Wow. Look at these pods, man. Yeah. We're going to talk yeah, about them pretty soon. I think my face can take it, but anyways. Probably not. But uh, <laughs> today, what are we eating? Uh, the Fire the from fire North Providence. From North Providence on Middle Spring Avenue. Uh, suggested by this guy right mm. here. Uh, specifically for these garlic rosemary wings. Ooh. Garlic Ooh. rosemary and onion wings that are actually cooked in their pizza oven. Holy. Okay, yes. And if you're a real fan of garlic, when you eat there, or you can get it takeout, but it's not as good, but when you eat there, they have roasted garlic and olive oil for their freshly made rolls. And when you take the garlic out of the oil, it actually spreads like butter. Because they roast the garlic first, <laughs> and then they put oh it in the Oh my God. I didn't even know that walking the bill honestly. So we have the standard margarita pizza. Mm. Oh, that's But good. the reason why I did get this is because it is a Fire grill? Fire, fire, fire grill. Fire oven grill. Yeah, so mm. it's, uh, right? I think it's a it's a, it's a gas grill, but it's a fire oven gas grill. Hey, I'm huge. learning I'm learning things every day, so. Alright, here we go. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and let's go. <laughs> Got a little margarita pizza. Not a lot of flop. Yeah, that is a good flop. Everybody knows the rules, right? One bite? Yeah, but he never eats one only one bite. I know. I really get one bite. It's a terrible rule. <laughs> you eat until you can't talk. <laughs> yeah, this is solid right now. Mm. Yeah, that's good. I don't think I've actually had the margarita pizza. Really? Well, since my wife got pregnant for our second kid, my son, mm -hmm. red sauce gives her a hot bar. Mm -hmm. So oh. therefore, I can't eat red sauce. You see how that Fair works? Enough, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. We went, we went snowboarding 18 years ago. She fell on her butt. I've never gone snowboarding again. <laughs> see how that works? I don't know why. Honey, I love you. So how long has this place been around? I work for a contractor. Yep. And the guy who owns this also owns the Providence Oyster Bar. Mm -hmm. Also owns the Spring House on Block Island. Yep. And the restaurant that's out there. Should yeah. we partake? We <laughs> always, always get wings. Every time I go there, I get the wings. Mm -hmm. The wings are just... Actually, fantastic. today was what? Meatball day? Was it? All you, all you eat meatballs for yep. on Monday. Yep. Which is he, he also has a, um, I can't remember what day it is, but it's family style roast chicken. Okay. So you can go there and just eat roast chicken until you're hot. I'm content. a deal guy, so. Yeah, it's it's, yeah. it's good stuff. Yeah. I'm, I'm going to be honest with you. I, I like roast chicken. But let's go back on the meatballs here. That's Meatball Mondays. Meatball Mondays. Meatball Mondays. Yeah. Hey, all you can eat? I think so, dude. We can I, I, I right now. But I'm I was saying. walking in, I was like, yo, I saw it on Facebook. I mean, I saw it on, on Monday. I was like, do I want meatballs? <laughs> so I walk in the joint, I'm like, it makes you think, do right? I want meatballs? Do I want alcohol? Like, yeah. <laughs> it's an funny place. So that's dope. So the guy owns a couple of the restaurants. Down yeah, yeah. He, he owns either three or four restaurants yeah. plus the Spring House on Block Island. Yeah. Which, mm -hmm. Anybody knows the Spring House, it was actually built in 1852. The original that's 14 dope. person Spring House. Yeah. It's been added on. Yeah, we talked about this last time, man. This, <clears throat> I've never heard of this place. The spring ups? Yeah, no, no, no. This oh, place. Oh, the fire. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. There's, uh, we talked about it last time, over 2,600 restaurants in Rhode Island. Dude. Oh, yeah. That's You You can never eat at the mall. So that that's what I love about I'm going to go visit this place now, the especially place on Meatball good. Mondays. Yeah, they Uber Eats and everything. do some damage. Up. Oh, they do? They do it all? They have the whole shebang. Yeah. I like to try different places. Yeah. Um, I tend to fall in the category of I'll go to a place and I'll try something, yeah. and I really like it, and then when I go back, I go, I'm gonna get something else. No, I'm not. I'm gonna get the yeah. same thing I got before. Yeah. Yeah. Dude, that's the, the constant struggle. Yeah. Every single time. What you're familiar, I go to Baja's all the time, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They have phenomenal tacos, nachos. I always get a burrito. Oh, oh, same yeah. burrito. What kind of burrito? You ready, you ready for this? I think we are. Okay. So the trick to Baja's burritos. There's a trick now. It's yeah, this is church right here. <laughs> Is you have to mix the meats. Okay. Okay. Uh -huh. It's a United Nations of a burrito. Okay. <laughs> so you have to mix the carne asada, mm -hmm. steak, and the carnitas, mm -hmm. pork. Yeah. Thanks. Thanks. Yeah. Thanks, <laughs> thanks for the white guy. <laughs> yeah, yeah. The <laughs> you do that with <laughs> the, <all> the, <laughs> the lone white guy in the group. 
I don't need to be Spanish. And, <laughs> and you put all that stuff in there, man, psh, trust me, that's going to change your life. They yeah, just okay. open up, uh, I live in East Providence. They just open up a new location. Over I there. East yeah. Providence. Yeah. You East live in East Providence? Providence? Mm, right in the oh. position. I school to school there. PCD. EP in the building. Mm -hmm. We just got a mayor. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna use the cue cards as a napkin. Hold on. Oh, that's awesome. Th these are Mimi's notes, by the way. These are Mimi's notes for this show. <laughs> it's always real nice that uh, a lot of these restaurants they, they keep building in Rhode Island, man. That's what oh we yeah. Mean. You know what I mean? Because a lot of like a lot of places. No offense to chains. You know, I, I don't mind chains, right? But I like the chains that are locally owned. Yeah. Or at least they're regionalized. You know what I mean? Like a Five Guys? Like uh, uh um, you don't like Five Guys? Oh, yeah, There's a place I called, yeah, po Pokemoto. Like Pokemoto is a New England okay. brand. Just Connecticut, okay, yeah, yeah. Rhode Island. Oh, Mass. I know what you're saying. Oh, yeah, 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 like that. Gotcha, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. So, um, but even Not like, a, guys. <laughs> <laughs> but like even Dunkin' Donuts, right? You think, hey, Dunkin' Donuts, it's all corporate owned. No, dude, it's actually local families. Local families. Yeah. That own it. They just have to pay a fee to use sure, the yeah, name. Franchise, yeah. You know what I mean? But some of them are owned by the corporate office. Mm -hmm. So you have to pick and choose the ones you want to support or not. Mm. But yeah, that's awesome that they keep doing this, man. And it's, um, if they've opened so many places, I hope that they keep going. Mm. Actually, okay. considering where it's located, where it comes to yeah. Mill Spring Avenue in North Providence, like, there's See, competition in that joint. For I know. Sure. So, so when you have something like that, and I think it's actually been there for multiple years. It is. I remember going there like five years ago or something like that. And Jackie's, Gal like her? Yeah. Jackie's Galaxy yeah. is right up the street from there. There's a lot right, of stuff. Right, yep. I can't do this stuff, whatever that. <laughs> the I knuckle? Yeah. yeah I, I can't do it. It's cartilage. Yeah. No. I, uh, I have enough of that gone. <laughs> <laughs> it's not getting replaced. Oh, we're gonna so. get into that. Oh. So yeah, like, yeah. if your hand was a chicken bone, could I eat your cartilage? Uh, there's nothing left. <laughs> there's no, there's no cartilage in that hand. Well, I think we have a fun fact. Mr. Eric here has actually been fighting in Ooh. CES for. Uh, you said six fights, seven fights. Uh, I fought for CES. I think six or seven times. Entire time with Bedard pressed against the cage. To be honest, that this should be, they should break. Nice good takedown. takedown. That was fantastic. He kind of lulled them. No, I have a terrible, MMA, right? Yeah, I have a terrible record for CES for some yeah, reason. I have a terrible record in Rhode Island. <laughs> Catch me in Connecticut, you get knocked out. <laughs> <laughs> Catch me in Rhode Island, Here's you got proof, a chance. Put, put your knuckles yeah. up next to ours. Oh, look at this. No, no, like this. I got working hands. I don't know if you want to see this one. <laughs> <laughs> look at this. Th that's MMA. Yeah. Non-MMA. Just want MMA to and contracting, because you said yeah, you yeah, yeah. Yeah. contract us. So. And maybe punch but a no, few it's, walls it's, in your day. Yeah, it's all you guys, man. <laughs> we have... Uh, I don't know if you know Greg Rubello, a good friend I, of mine. I train with Greg Rubello. Okay, so okay. Greg's <laughs> got these. Yeah, his his left hand's got his nub. On what it. what is it? Cartilage? It's from is hitting it? me in there. It's really <laughs> from, yeah. I thought I, it was just from hitting concrete. Yeah, yeah, yeah. my head. Concrete. Yeah, concrete. Okay. <laughs> All right. No, Greg's a good guy, man. Greg's he's, a great he's, guy. he's one of my favorite guys. I love Greg. Greg's awesome. So here here's a little tidbit too for Christmas. Since I think my girl's trying to throw me a little notes on, you know, it's time to get a little healthy. She she got me five training sessions with Greg, but I'm too scared to go cash them in. I would be uh, yeah, yeah. Be because I've literally heard stories. I said like, a wow first. Yeah, yeah. Hit the treadmill or something. I don't know what you want to do, but listen, I I, I, legit. <laughs> I stimulate the economy by paying a monthly fee and not going. <laughs> I just want to let everybody know that I'm well, a stimulator. Have you seen the girls that he, he's been training? Uh, they put stuff on Instagram. Oh, yeah, they, they can hit. <laughs> I'll use your head as well. <laughs> oh. And Does he call you over like, yo, can I use your hands to punch your back? Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> and Greg's a, he's a recovering fat guy, too. Yeah, He well, used to be a big boy. Well, he's still a big boy. Well, you, you know what I mean. He used His to be... His head's this big. Are you yeah. Me? But now it's like just raw power. But right, before, right. he used That's to be a big dude. It, he used to be like my size, keep, man. You keep saying that. That way you get on his good side for a straight <laughs> yeah, session. So what you, what Greg, I love you, man. Yeah. <laughs> Let, let's get a drink. Yeah. We don't have to work out, you know? What's all working out? Let's Life is short. Yeah. Yeah. So do you have a fight coming up? No, no. I'm a, I'm a, a financially retired. Oh, very nice. So if somebody financially makes me not retired, I would fight again. Get out of as it is now. I mean, financially I got, retired. Financially retired, which means they don't pay me enough to not work and fight. Very nice. Because yeah. I, uh, I okay. you know, I got two kids. I got a house. I got yeah. a 45, 50 hour a week job. I don't really make enough fighting to to make yeah. it feasible. Maybe. I mean, there's been talks of BKB, the bare knuckle boxing, uh, coming around and, be, and paying more money, which. What the hell is that? Literally bare knuckle? So what they do is they really tape your hands and you go punch somebody in the face. And wow. all you have is, is 
gauze on your knuckles. Which, so it's literally like semi street bike. Oh, which you would think that would stink. Yeah. You get hit harder, but they prove if you ever watch the sport science on it, they prove the heavier the glove you're wearing, yeah. the harder you hit because your even, conscious even, even with oh, well your conscious knows I can hit harder. Oh. You sort of take something off when you have the gauze and, 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 and the tape on, and you have nothing on your hands. Um, but you get cut a lot more. It's a lot easier to get caught because there's not yeah. that padding of a, of a glove on there. And it, it, it's really weird because MMA guys are wearing four ounce gloves. Mm -hmm. Boxers are wearing 10 to 12 Yeah, they're wearing pillows. Gloves. Well, you're with 16 ounce gloves. Yeah. But you got a guy, like a guy like Mike Tyson. I don't care what he's got in his hands. <laughs> he hits you. You're going out. Dude, he's a beast, man. So, the padding on the glove doesn't really... The only thing the padding on the glove is going to stop is whether you're going to get a giant gash across the forehead. Yeah. So he was a good uppercutter, too. Uh, his uppercut Oof. was in... He, he, there's, there's pictures of him throwing uppercuts, and he literally leaves his feet. Because yeah. he's thrown with that much yeah. power. It's insane. For sure. You, you listen to Joe Rogan, his podcast? <laughs> oh, dude, what a great Ron, podcast. Yeah. So he had a podcast with Tyson. I didn't even know that. Oh, my God, it's great. So he's one of the biggest ones, honestly. So, yeah. so he starts talking about how Tyson has a tiger. How had he had a tiger. Right, right. He goes, how'd you get a tiger? And he said, well, I was in jail, which is which the was best happened. way to stop which is half of his ever. life. Yeah. So he goes, I was in jail. Tyson yeah. sentence. He goes, <laughs> he, goes, he goes, and I was talking to my car dealer. Why you're in jail talking to your car dealer? Yeah. He Instead goes, of a lawyer. He goes, and I have a friend yeah. who has cars with him, but he's complaining that the guy needs to pay for these cars. And that he was going to sell the cars. He goes, he's going to sell the cars, he's going to get some horses. And of course, you know, I'm going to get some horses. horses. Yeah. So he goes, he goes, horses? He goes, I must. He goes, what can you go? Oh, yeah, I can get lions, I can get tigers, I can get bears. I know a guy can cut exotic animals. He goes, well, I want some tigers. Yeah. So he, in jail, sells a car and gets a tiger. Freaking tiger. So he's got these two baby tiger cubs. Who are super cute. And the, and the best part about the entire thing is they're, they're having this conversation, Joe Rogan and Tyson, and Tyson looks at Joe Rogan and goes, man, you're crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Let me ask you no a question. What Just go for I gotta it. ask you a question. I'm gonna try and move on you right now. Okay, here we go. Am I in frame? I really want this car. Like and I just need to know the name of it. Give me a little more shoulder here. They can't. It has bad shoulders. This right here. Yeah. What's this move called? Watch That's key lock. That. Key lock? That's key lock, yeah. That's my move. So bring key it back. Lock. Yeah. Kimura is this way. I do that in all situations, dude. Key, key lock? You you get in front of key me lock. at Bajas or <laughs> next time I'm at I'll Fire Grill here. Somebody. I'm gonna about to key lock you, yeah. son. They had the last card. I'll give, you, I'll give you a little self-defense tip. Yeah. That's, that's great. From the U.S. military. Oh, damn. From, from actually, this is... From this is certified. This is certified. This yep. is actually from what um, uh, uh, Secret Service. Secret Service. Secret Service yeah. So what they do is if they want to, oh, if they want to move somebody out of the way, especially in a crowd, what they do is they grab a wrist. Oh, okay. They yeah. put their hand right here on. Right oh, there right in the and push. Okay. Yeah, that worked. <laughs> <laughs> and that worked. <laughs> they literally can grab your wrist and move you right out of the way, and that's all they. Well, You're done. Yeah. I used to, when, when do I, you actually go into the hole, or you just right on the cusp? That's right, right on the cusp. You don't really have to if, if right. you, know, you. They let you know that they're in charge. I um yeah I moved. You I just I, moved the three hundred pound man. I bounced I bounced at a bar for a while. Yeah. And I used to watch these really really big guys who bounced with us, and couldn't move anybody out of the way. And I would literally just walk up, especially drunk people. Drunk people look great because you just walk up, <laughs> you grab a wrist, you go, hey, move out of my way. Oh, oh, you move them wherever you want to. And you can literally control them. <laughs> so cheers to these guys, man. They make. Uh, I'll be honest with you. I don't I don't know if they're known for their wings, but their pizza's phenomenal. Yeah, I, but um, if they're if they're known for their pizza, kudos to them. Yeah, you know, I it, I don't know what they would be known for. I mean, I've I've eaten there, like I said, I've eaten there a few times. Yeah. Um, and I've I've gotten different pizzas from there. Mm -hmm. Actually, I think they've taken it off the menu, which is sad. Um, but they had a pizza that had shrimp and scallops on it. It was like a seafood pizza. Oh my, I'm like, all right, whose idea was it to put shrimps and scallops on a pizza? Cheese? And apparently it was the owner because I asked him and he said, no, no. that was my idea. Right. But I don't think he's on the menu anymore. But it was like a shrimp and scallop pizza with a white sauce, with like uh, an Alfredo sauce. Oh, with cheese. Oh. It was like an Alfredo pizza. Oh, yeah. Well, you Alfredo have to go white. Just like white wine oh, yeah. with, yeah. with seafood. You it have was to go yeah. so fantastic. Um, we've gone there and had a couple of the different pizzas. They've always been good. And obviously, I've, I've always ordered the wings. Uh -huh. Funny, you ordered the wings? Yeah. I couldn't exactly. tell. Let me ask you a question. This is on the card here. 
I see it. If you are fine, professionally speaking, best to go for here or down or for the chin. Oh, that's right? a good question. Right? That's right? a good question. Knuckle to the temple or <laughs> knuckle to the chin ski? I like the chin. Why? That makes them do a, like a... Well... What's my name? The, the, the thing is, what you want is the brain to rattle. Hey, this is violence. This science. Is wow. This, this, this is science. professional, though. This, this is a professional. This, yeah, this is the professional yeah. way to answer this question. Yeah, yeah. So what you want is the brain to smash one side of the skull. You want, you want the brain and to smash twerk. the other side of the skull. You want the brain twerking. Now, hitting here, <laughs> yeah. it'll happen because your brain will move, your, your head will move, and your brain will stay still for a second, and it'll smash. Just like a car accident, it'll go towards it, mm -hmm. right? So if you hit somebody in the temple here, you know it'll do that. My feelings is you hit them in the chin, their head snaps and then snaps again. So you actually get more of an effect. I like the chin person. And, ah! and <laughs> I feel better too. if I'm gonna hit something, yeah, I wanna hit the softer target, uh, which actually will actually break the jaw. Dang. Cause I would rather That's break your jaw and knock you out than just knock you out. <laughs> <laughs> well then, that sucks. <laughs> Now you have it. Yeah. I, I, <laughs> and I guess, uh, yeah, that's it's, just one way of doing sweet, things. Yeah. It's yeah. sweet science sweet of, spot, right? It's the it, sweet science of violence. Yeah. Hey, I love it. It's fun <laughs> stuff. Professional violence. Professional violence. Professional yeah, violence. Yeah, yeah, don't Sometimes do Sometimes you get paid yeah, to do it. Yeah, you got to put the pinky and, up. Which, you, yeah. yeah. Uh, professional violence. Yeah. Uh, people ask me, they're like, what do you do in the back? You get nervous, you know, whatever. I was like, my first fight was in front of like 5,000 people making some. Yeah. I was sleeping in the back room, mm. in, in the, in the warm-up room. I was complete sleeping. Complete zen. Complete, just just passed out sleeping. Yeah. You gotta get your hands wrapped. Yeah. Get my hands wrapped. Yeah, it's like Let's manicure. Out. Let's yeah. warm up. Yeah. Okay. I'm warm, like whatever. We go out to the cage, and I'm standing inside the cage, and my corner's right outside talking to me. They announce me. I'm in the, in the cage. They announce the guy I'm fighting. He comes out. And they show the pictures of YouTube side by side. You know, on, tail of the tape. Hold on, I can see it right now. Tail of the tape, right? Yeah, yeah. And I'm looking at it, and my coach is behind me. He goes, "That's a good picture of you." Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so we're literally <laughs> cracking jokes. Yeah. Now the fight before us happened, and the kid got brought out in a stretcher. So they had to wait for an ambulance to come back. Oh, so man. I literally sat outside in the cage <laughs> for like five minutes waiting for another ambulance to show up at Mohegan yeah. Sun yeah. so we can get this fight on just in case somebody needed a stretcher. And people said, weren't you nervous? I was like, nope. Yeah. I, that's that's it. And they're like, well, well, don't you have a, a switch? I was like, yeah, as soon as the fight guy says well, fight, there's my switch. There's no, I, ha I have a, the wrestlers have this. We have the ability to be zero to 100 real freaking quick. Like, See, I'm not real over. quick. And I'm over like, this is my switch. <laughs> Terry, <laughs> Phil, grab the keys. We're getting out of the club, son. We out of here. People are fighting. We need to go home. Get some three on the way. The big guys need to go Three all the me. way. And then, yeah. sit back. You know, yeah. Yeah. yeah, let's get the keys and let's get out of here, bro. I don't want to be part of this. But, but I, I have, have sensitive skin. I, I bruise easily. I bruise. <laughs> <laughs> now you have it. Eric, thanks for showing up with us. No problem. That was nice talking to you. Got a lot of insight. A lot of insight. Yeah, I could talk all day. That was First a lot of hands. fun. He got those hands, so. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I'm definitely not. I'll definitely watch I'll, his bare knuckles thing. But yeah, I'll jello wrestle him, yeah. but I won't fight him. I'm hungry. <laughs> I'm so hungry. <laughs> Lupe, thanks for coming. Thank thing. you guys. He doesn't uh, know my two times state to wrestle, but does he? And you want jello wrestle? <laughs> yeah. I will yeah. jello wrestle the hell out of him. Jello wrestle. But again, yeah, um, you know, thanks for, uh, again, I'm not Mimi, but I know I'm as pretty. Yeah, oh yeah, definitely. And I can rock a dress, dude, better, better than she can. And I'll take out Tuesday. I'm Phil. Peace.